The Federal Executive Council has approved the revised contract to award for the construction of the 22-kilometer Ibadan Lagere Lesha bypass at the cost of 9.8 billion naira. This is part of the resolutions reached at the Federal Executive Council meeting. State House correspondent Ayobami Pashe has more on the report. Briefing State House correspondent after the weekly meeting, Minister of Works and Housing Babatunde Fashola explained. That his ministry also got approval for a revised contract award for the construction of the 101 kilometers to Leja Lambata Road at the cost of 36.2 billion naira. Ibado Lagere Ilisha Bypass, um, 22 kilometers. Contract was awarded in 2010, no budgetary funding and all of that. So the rates have become obsolete. Uh, contractor wants new rates, so that has necessitated a revision of the rates by 3.165 billion, and that means the old contract price uh, of 6.7 billion has moved now to 9.8 billion. Um, the same is true of the Suleja Minalambata Road. Uh, this is 101 kilometers. Uh, it was awarded in two phases. The entire road is 101 kilometers. It was awarded in two phases. The first phase was awarded, I believe, in 2010. 40 kilometers, and then the second phase covering uh, kilometer 40 to 101 was awarded in 2015, but they used the March 2015, but they used the 2010 rates. So, a uh, contractor is now at a point where he says those rates are unsustainable, it can't continue. And uh, we have recommended, again, that the revised rates be considered and council approve them. It's a revision by an addition of 12.6 billion. Uh, so the contract price moves from 23.6 to 36.2 billion. Naira. Responding to media questions and reason for federal government's revised costs of already awarded contract. The minister said contract variations are due to present day economic realities as most of the contracts awarded before 2015 were without budgetary allocations. I think first of all is uh, economic common sense uh, and reality. Um, don't forget that in 2015, when I was sworn into office and we were reviewing what we made, the national budget for uh, roads, the whole of Nigeria, was 18 billion for the whole country. That's what we made. So that suggests a couple of things to you. It suggests to you first that some of the contracts that were existing, like these two, they were awarded in 2010. It means that there was no provision for many of them. So it essentially meant that the contractors were doing nothing. They had contracts that were not being funded. And I remember uh, um, Ilori Jeba Road. That road then used to take seven days to cross 90, 93 kilometers because it was broken up. We found that there was an existing contract. The mobilization that was due to the contractor was about four billion. He had received only about 400 million three years before. That was the last time he was paid. So if we hadn't at that time appealed to him to go and borrow money, because I appealed to him. And he said, well, he was meeting me for the first time, that believing in my reputation that he would be paid, he went to borrow money and started work, until we did the 2016 budget, 
and started paying him. So he too would have come back to say, I got this contract in 2007. Right now, it is 2019. The price of cement, we all know, has changed. The price of uh, uh, petrol has changed. Diesel has changed. Minimum weight now is being reviewed. It will impact some contracts. So that's the reason for ultimately the contractor says I can't continue. And if you look in those uh, standard contract terms, there are provisions for contracts that become frustrated. Fashola further posited that the federal government's policy on private partnership on road construction and rehabilitation remains active and intact. He said his ministry is at various stages of methodical planning on the possibilities of bringing back tolling on key federal highways across the country. From the presidential villa, Abuja, Ayobami Pashe, reporting for Court TV News.